G'day Adam Makers, this is Nat with another tutorial, Oxygen 2, tutorial number 3. Okay, I'm going to move on past the resolution LODs to one of the first of the other views. This one's called Cargo, a view cargo. Now, what this is, is purely designed for the view of those who are in the vehicle. What I didn't touch on before is you'll see some triangles here. These triangles represent the positions of people, AI or humans, getting into a vehicle. Uh, these triangles called proxies, they can represent other things. For example, um, on aircraft you might have a proxy for a bomb um, or a missile hanging off a wing. But in this case here, this is a proxy for cargo. Now when those uh, people, AI or humans, are inside the vehicle this LOD is all they see. Um, now you will note, for example, there's no wheels. The wheels have gone. Uh, by the way, the yellow bit that you can see here this is just a feature of the tool. The yellow bit, um, like a watermark, is actually the first level LOD being represented in every view. So it gives you an impression of where everything is relative to the first level resolution LOD. So there's the watermark of that uh, wheels there, but in this LOD the wheels aren't visible. Now if I go to the preview we'll notice something a little different. Um, if we go inside, you'll notice the doors are transparent. Well, there's a reason for that. There's no need to have something visible on the outside of the door because in reality, the only view will be from inside. So from inside, you just see the inside lining of the door. Same for the cargo area. Notice you can't see out of the area because we've faced the inside, but there's been no need to face the outside. So the outside's transparent, but for an internal view. Now also notice another item here. If you look at the detail of the dash, there's a lot of detail there and they are actually moving needles. But if you go to the first level LOD, the first level resolution LOD, remembering is a view from the outside but you can look through the window of the vehicle into the inside and see some detail so when I look at the inside of the vehicle on a resolution LOD you notice it's much less detail you don't really want all that high level detail presented inside the cabin of a vehicle if it's not the view from inside the cabin so this is this is what a person or an AI, well not an AI, but a person would see from outside the window whereas the cargo view is what they see from inside the cabin so there's a bit more detail inside the cabin. Okay, we'll move on to the next one which is a shadow volume LOD. Now you notice that it starts at 0 and then there's a 10. Basically it uh, moves up in levels similar to a resolution LOD. So up close you get a shadow cast on the ground from this model. Now when you look at it in the preview it's not much. We step back and out. It's untextured. And in fact you'll notice in some parts of it, like the wheels, they're inside out. The faces are facing actually inwards, which is a little unusual. But it doesn't matter for a shadow LOD because those faces still cast a shadow in the game. Now, the one thing you do have to be aware of in the shadow LODs is all the faces have to be triangles. They can't be four-pointed faces. They must be only three-pointed faces. There is a function in the uh, menu system that allows you to turn everything into three points anyway. But that's okay, we'll get to that later. And the other thing you've got to be aware of is um, everything must be sharp. So all the faces have to be sharp. And you can sort of tell that they're sharp when you highlight them because they're very bold. For example, if I was to unsharpen them, I'll select smooth. 
you notice now they're very soft and light whereas I turn everything sharp all the edges are dark and highlighted now the tenth or ten level is got a little less detail in it I'll just flip back to there's zero there's ten so you can see there's a slight difference if you uh, counted the points and faces you'll also see a difference edit this is an unusual one it's a sample model you can rename uh, a um, a selection in here and edit and that's basically where you can it's like a scratch pad you can work here and it doesn't actually display in the game so edit 21 here is actually just a work area and it must have been what BIS themselves were working in they left it behind not a big deal just a scratch pad area next one very important one geometry the geometry LOD again um, notice when you highlight it, it comes up differently but first of all I'm going to go into the uh, preview and show you what it looks like doesn't look like much and you notice there's a bit of darkening there the darkening is actually just the shadow being cast onto the model but basically the geometry LOD is very blocky the reason it's very blocky is because it's uh, designed to uh, mimic collisions so this is what other things run into is this LOD now um, you have to we're talking about closed um, geometry before the uh, shadow LODs and the uh, geometry LODs have to be closed otherwise um, it doesn't work now also note by highlighting these areas we've got lots of dots and you may also notice another blue dot and cross here now the gray dots actually refer to weight so this actually also determines the weight uh, physical weight of this add-on and if I go down and look in the corner under mass it says mass 8352 that's 8356 kilograms 8.4 tons so it represents in the engine how much in the game engine how much that LOD really weighs the blue point is basically the center of gravity for the model um, so the center of gravity for this model interacting with the virtual world is around about the middle underneath the cab there okay moving on to the next uh, LOD it's memory LOD memory LOD if we go to the preview you actually see it doesn't contain anything it's because the memory LOD is basically a whole series of points now as you would have seen on some of the other LODs there's names there's a name section directly below and what this is about is those points have names so as I click on through these names certain points come up now these review these re, um, refer to certain areas for example POS cargo POS cargo is the point at where you get can get an action in game to jump into the cargo so when you stand at the back of the vehicle as represented here you'll get the menu item that says jump uh, you know join cargo enter cargo POS driver refers to a similar point where if you stand near this point in the uh, near th with the add-on you'll get the menu item to become the a driver so you'll notice it here on the left hand side of the vehicle right near the driver's door you'll notice uh, there's other things here like this named section it's uh, check and basically it refers to special functions this is a um, the tread of the front uh, right hand wheel when these points are defined this is where you probably see the tread of the vehicle driving across the ground being imprinted into the ground so these two named points tell the game engine where to put the uh, treads as the vehicle moves